Donald Trump has gone through a second assassination attempt, this time at his golf course in Florida, before passing over to the sheriff's office to tell you what exactly took place. The more shocking point is people like this, who still continue to pump out insults and slurs to the opposite party, blaming them for what took place today. We'll come back to this former head of security for Donald Trump in a minute. Here's what the sheriff had to say. 1.30 this afternoon, call came out, shots fired. That was called in by the Secret Service. Because we're in constant contact with them all the time, we were notified of that, and we had units here that immediately sealed off the area. Fortunately, we were able to locate a witness that came to us and said, hey, I saw the guy running out of the bushes. He jumped into a black Nissan, and I took a picture of the vehicle and the tag, which was great. So we had that information. Our real-time crime center put it out to the license plate readers, and we were able to get a hit on that vehicle on I-95 as it was headed into Martin County. We got a hold of Martin County Sheriff's Office, alerted them, and they spotted the vehicle and pulled it over and detained the guy. After that, we took the victim, I'm sorry, the witness that witnessed the incident, took, flew him up there, and he identified as the person that he saw running out of the bushes and jumped into the car. Now, in the bushes where this guy was, is a 8K47 style rifle with a scope, two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had a ceramic tile in them, and a GoPro, which he was gonna take pictures of. So those are being processed right now. The Secret Service agent that was on the course did a fantastic job. What they do is they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president was at and he was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. So that's what we know about the investigation. We have somebody in custody right now that is a potential suspect. We got a little bit more work to do on it, but as we usually do, as soon as we decide that we're gonna book him into the county jail and the charges that he's gonna be booked into, we'll get those to you and we'll get a picture of him and we'll get you his background. Now the next part isn't these guys that blew my mind. It was what appears to be an English guy that was the former head of Trump's security going right off the deep end in terms of conspiracies and putting blame on the opponents, the Democrats, for what had just taken place, even though we do not know who this suspect is. And bear in mind, the person who was involved last time was a Republican. I'm joined now by former Deputy Assistant to Donald Trump, security strategist and author, Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Uh, your response to this afternoon's events? Well, unlike your former guest, who I think uh, writes for Politico and is part of the left-wing uh, hack enterprise that works for the Democrat establishment. The temperature needs to be taken out of the room. This guy claims he's into international security, and what is he doing? He's stoking tensions. I'm starting to see why he no longer works with Donald Trump. Sadly, this was to be expected. Uh, we have the current incumbent in the White House who at their recent convention in Chicago stated that President Trump is a threat, an existential threat to America. This is the same Joe Biden that called half the nation MAGA extremists. And the left-wing establishment, including the media, have said that the president is a neo-Nazi, is a white supremacist, is a wannabe dictator and a threat to democracy. So, of course, people will try to murder him because this is what the left have engendered. So he's ignoring January 6th. He's ignoring the lies that Trump has been broadcasting that the election was rigged against him, even though he has been unable to provide any evidence to show that that's the case. He ignores the comments that there were fine people on both sides at Charlottesville. He's ignoring the fact that Trump has somewhat jokingly maybe seriously said he's going to have a dictatorship on day one maybe for 24 hours to clear everyone out he's ignoring the fact that trump signed with putin over his own fbi which no president has ever done in its history and to cap it off he's stoking tensions here in america so god bless president trump i literally just texted him as i was waiting to come on your show uh, expressing uh, that we have him and his family in our prayers but uh, this is what happens when one of the two political parties in, in a nation 
normalizes violence and tries to demonize the leader of the opposition. You mean like when he suggested that there was a good chance Barack Obama wasn't American and predominantly did that because of Barack Obama's skin color. What was his response on text? Can you share? No, and I, I wouldn't do that. Isn't it a little uh, premature to suggest that Donald Trump, um, it was an uh, attempted assassination, a second attempted assassination, as we, we haven't had that confirmed at all? There's nothing to suggest well, that that only, only, exactly only if you're what happened. Uh, only if you're a clinical imbecile. I mean, truly, this is, this is Trump International Golf Course. This is where he lives. It's just West Palm Beach, it's right next to Mar-a-Lago. Only a clinical cretin would say this isn't the second. And the fact that they found a Go GoPro camera along with the AK-47 before the individual fled. But isn't it safe to, to wait to have police confirm you that? You wait. Uh, I've done 25 years in national security and counterterrorism. I think I can draw the requisite conclusions. And yet he no longer works with Trump. Funny that. So you believe that's definitely a second assassination attempt. Uh, following that the assassination attempt in, in July in Butler, Pennsylvania, um, security would have been stepped up, would it not? Well, that's the question. The Secret Service has been well, found wantonly, shockingly, want, uh, you know, uh, incompetent at what they do. The fact that the day of the first assassination attempt in Butler, Pennsylvania, they, they took 13 agents off the president's detail to have them work on a safe environment for Jill Biden, who was also giving a speech the same day in Pennsylvania. Is he actually suggesting that the president's wife doesn't deserve some sort of security detail? What is this? I'm not saying that the security service have done a good job. They clearly haven't because that shooter that missed Trump's head by millimeters, that should never have happened and the security service should have been all over it. It begs all sorts of questions. But he's really suggesting that this is being done on purpose. The fact that they didn't clear the building that was 140 meters from the, the podium where the president spoke. Who knows? I have very little trust in the Secret Service today, which is also run by the Department of Homeland Security, which is the same agency that opened our borders for the last three and a half years on the orders of Joe Biden. And there you go. He brings it up. Migration, immigration, refugees, foreigners, people he doesn't like. Funnily enough, he's a migrant and you can tell because of his accent. And let 22 million illegals into the country. So I, I, I have no expectation the Secret Service is doing a good job right now with regards to the, the safety of the president. And that's why I recommended right after the first incident in Butler, Pennsylvania, that they be plussed up, they be expanded with former SEALs and Green Berets hired to work the president's detail on an outer perimeter. You, you were suggesting that uh, former President Trump has been uh, set up, that he has been demonized and uh, this if it is an attack, this sort of attack has, has been encouraged. But we have heard from the White House, from President Biden, uh, <laughs> a statement in which the president and vice president, uh, they have been briefed about the security incident at the Trump International Golf Course, where former President Trump was golfing. They're relieved to know that he is safe. They will be kept regularly updated by their team. And, and further to that, Kamala Harris has uh, said that uh, she is pleased that Donald Trump is safe and there's no place for violence in America. Yeah, these are the same people who call my former boss a threat to democracy and a want to be dictator. They are part you of the you problem. Don't accept, they, they, you don't they accept that they, they are pleased that he is safe? I reject everything that comes out of their mendacious mouths. They are absolute liars and hacks who hate America and my former boss and anybody who believes in the, the idea of making America great again. Yes, they are liars. So you are saying that the President of the United States, Joe Biden, is lying when he says that he's relieved that Donald Trump is safe? Uh, that man doesn't even know what day of the week it is. He's a senile bag of oatmeal. Wow, this guy has got so, so much hate in his heart and he claims to be a man of God. It's just wild. Look, I get it. Both sides need to dumb down on their rhetoric because it's just aggressive, but it's gotten to a state where it's everyone's got to attack each other. Everything needs to calm down and it's not happening and this guy doesn't help the situation. Well, I think that's a... Um 
Do you very, are you uh, hearing base, your opinions? A or? very base I, level of of um, accusation against are you, are, President are you, Trump. Are you here to give your opinions or you are, are ask your guest questions? I mean, are you a journalist who wants me to answer questions from a position of having worked in the White House? Are you here to I'm lecture I'm your asking, audience? I'm asking questions, but uh, I'm not giving but you a platform qualifying. to insult well, others who are not here to defend then themselves. don't invite me on your show. Can you promise me that? Sebastian Gorka, thank you very much for speaking to us. Yep. Yep, she can deal with that dealt with it in such a British way as well. Very, very matter of fact. Goodbye. See you later. No anger in the tone of voice. It's a bit odd. I, do, I got a funny feeling about that guy and his reactions to women in particular, especially with that Jill Biden comment as well. This has all certainly been wild and I don't think it's going to end here. It seems that the rhetoric has brought America to a boiling point and people are willing to take up arms to take out Donald Trump. I hope that doesn't happen because I think it will just exacerbate the situation even more and MAGA supporters will go wild. Let me know your thoughts on the events. I really did find that commentator more shocking than the events of the assassination and that in itself tells you the seriousness of the situation in the States. Anyway, once again, thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube supporters who keep this channel going and growing. If you'd like to help and support the channel, links in the description. Otherwise. It's free to hit that like and subscribe button. Once again, thanks for listening. Bye for now.